dear students very good morning and welcome to the lecture series on ec course 02 nano electronics of kerala technological university in the last class we have discussed about the resonant tunneling effect and how this effect can be used for uh, application in nano electronics today we are going to discuss about resonant tunneling transistors and what are resonant tunneling transistors how the resonant tunneling effect can be used for the operation of this transistor the principle of resonant tunneling tunneling effect can be incorporated into standard bipolar transistors field effect transistors or into hot electron transistor and thus creating a new device with new properties what is called the resonant tunneling transistors here in order to fabricate this device we have considered aluminum indium arsenide as a wide band gap material and gallium indium arsenide as the narrow band gap material and this aluminum indium arsenide is used as the barriers the tunnel barriers and gallium indium arsenide is used gallium indium arsenide n type gallium indium arsenide is used for the base emitter and collector the lightly doped n type emitter base and collector are fabricated with gallium indium arsenide the aluminum indium arsenide is used as the barrier layer between the emitter and base the heterojunctions formed between gallium indium arsenide and aluminum indium arsenide allows the quantum well to form while giving a proper biasing let us consider a bipolar transistor in which a resonant tunneling diode is added to the emitter junction emitter junction means emitter base junction the emitter base junctions can now be formed with heterostructures because there are two semiconductor materials materials with gallium indium arsenide and aluminum indium arsenide so that will act as a heterojunction since the emitter to base biasing voltage that is polarization voltage vb controls the tunneling resonant current in the heterojunction the collector current ic will also show a typical resonant tunneling diode dependence or the current ic which is controlled with the application of the base emitter voltage so ic will also follow the resonant tunneling effect the transistor is given the proper biasing voltages between the base emitter junction and collector base junctions here figure a shows the typical characteristic of a resonant tunneling transistor and here the collector current is varies in accordance with the base emitter voltage here here figure b shows the collector current variation with the variations of collector emitter voltage the base emitter voltage vb can control the resonant resonant electron current condition in the quantum well structure of the emitter base heterojunction junction the diffused electrons are directed towards the base collector junction with proper biasing voltage at the collector base junction the collector current can be controlled by base emitter voltage vb that is shown here in this characteristic curve between base emitter region of the transistor there exists a resonant tunneling quantum well heterostructure the emitter can inject electrons into the base and the electron tunnel effect can be produced by controlling the base emitter voltage vb at resonance the electron current in the quantum well structure and the injected carriers that are all essentially for electrons only and that injected carriers to the base is maximum the collector current takes the maximum value at vb is equal to v1 in the characteristic curve in the figure a 
that is here when vb is increased the collector current is increased gradually like this and it reaches to a maximum value at voltage v1 and that is v1 is the voltage at which the maximum current ic becomes here then after that what happens if vb is further increased the collector current ic decreases until the minimum value voltage vb is equal to v2 here so again when collector emit base emitter voltage vb is or vb is increased the collector current decreases and this decrease will the decreasing of the collector current will follow till a voltage v2 is reached and this voltage at which the collector current is minimum is what is called the valley voltage and the collector current is called the valley current here yeah. and after this after this again the base emitter voltage is increased what happens the collector current increases like this and this is due to thermoionic ionic uh, charge thermoionic uh, recombination of the charges and that actually makes the current collector current to increase like this so this is the variation of ic as a function of the collector emitter voltage here here v1 is less than v2 is less than v3 and correspondingly the correct current collector current i1 greater than i3 greater than i2 now we can consider the energy band diagram for the aluminium indium arsenide aluminium uh, gallium indium aluminium indium arsenide gallium indium arsenide heterostructure that is given here so here the emitter is n type gallium indium arsenide emitter and this is the base the emitter base junction is having heterojunction but the base emitter junction c here junction is very thin so that the 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 energy level that is is also on eeb is smaller whereas the collector base junction which has got a thick barrier that is aluminium indium arsenide uh, the barrier here is also aluminium indium arsenide is the barrier which has got a thick barrier so the energy of this particular energy quantization of the energy is taken into account then we can see evc is the energy at the collector base junction ultra base junction and this is also this vc is also n type gallium indium arsenide base so let us consider the energy band diagram the energy band diagram of a gallium indium arsenide aluminium indium arsenide heterostructure photo electron transistor with biasing on the active region is shown in the figure we have seen now emitter and collector are n type gallium indium arsenide and the barrier is fabricated by aluminium indium arsenide and heterostructure is fabricated between the emitter and base so heterostructure we have seen between the emitter and base uh, a heterostructure is fabricated here between the emitter and base region of this transistor there exists a resonant tunneling heterostructure capable of injecting large electron current when the electron resonant condition is reached when electron resonant condition is reached a large electron currents are injected from the emitter from the emitter electrons are injected to, to the into the base electrons are injected into the base the position of the resonant level related to the emitter is controlled by the voltage level applied to the base region that is vb unlike simple hot electron transistor the resonant tunnel structure injects electrons in a very narrow energy range that we have seen here the energy range energy is here evbe here the energy is evce so compared to this one this is very large so the electrons are injected from the emitter to the base resonant tunneling diodes can also be incorporated in a different manner to a bipolar transistor which is shown in the figure d here see which is shown in the figure d here see here this is the figure Uh, d see here what is that this is an aluminium gallium arsenide gallium arsenide bipolar transistor which is connected uh, with a rtd at its base 
at the base terminal an rcd resonant tunneling diode is connected so that heterostructure uh, it's a double heterostructure uh, which is heterojunctions are formed and different energy levels are here depending upon each energy level see here we can see rtd is added to the base terminal in addition to the tunnel injector tunnel injector means in addition to the emitter injector emitter is which is actually injecting electrons into the base an rtd that is resonant tunnel and diode is connected to the base connected to a base it shows the quantum well formed between two potential barriers of the rtd see here this is the potential barrier of the rtd in which resonant and different resonant energy levels are shown in the quantum wells formed the existence of various energy levels in the quantum well has been considered with re, which results in various peaks in the collector current because we are considering different energy levels here in the quantum well so different collector current peaks can be observed let us consider the application of resonant tunneling transistor there are several new applications of this uh, device mainly in the field of digital electronics resonant tunneling transistor allow allows the implementation of logic gates with a smaller number of transistors than usually needed so this transistor allows the implementation of logic gates for example in order to fabricate a full ladder circuit we just need to have only a resonant tunneling transistor a resonant tunneling bipolar transistor with the two standard ones while the same conventional adder circuit can be implemented with 40 ordinary transistors see the packaging so in the case of resonant tunneling transistors if you implement the same device it requires only one resonant tunneling bipolar transistor with the two standard transistors so a much higher packaging density and computing speeds can be reached if we are using a resonant tunneling transistors for the implementation of logic circuits the packaging density can be increased with the resonant tunneling transistors instead of using ordinary transistors with this brief description we conclude this session here if you have any doubt you can ask me over phone or in the next class